Hey everybody, welcome back to Terry's Model Rod Shop. It's been a while since I made a video because I've been busy with the decal deal, but I decided I was going to make a video on painting with Rust-Oleum because there's a lot of misconceptions and a lot of people don't like it, but it's a good paint if you learn how to use it and you use it correctly. Now the way I do it, I prep my cars. I always use this primer for everything. Now the car that I'm painting was prepped and sanded and sealed with or sanded with this. Then I find a color of Rust-Oleum primer that is close to what I want to paint. And since I'm painting this car silver, I'm going to use this primer, the gray. Then I've used the silver and then the clear. Now the trick to it is you have to read the directions. They are very specific about recoat times. The way my system, I put my paint in my dehydrator at the lowest temperature for an hour. I spray the primer. Then I put my color coat in the dehydrator for an hour. Then I spray my paint color. I'm just wanting to cover it. I'm not wanting to get gloss. I'm not wanting to get depth. I'm just wanting to get the color on it. And then after an hour, I will clear coat it. And within three hours, it will be dry and ready to go. I wouldn't recommend handling it too much, but after 24 hours, you should be fine. So, because this is a system, it works together. A lot of people put the base coat down, let it dry overnight, and then they put the clear on it and it wrinkles. You cannot do that. You have to do it all at one time. Or you have to let the base coat dry for at least 96 hours. Because it says 48 on the can, I would double that. Because Rust-Oleum does have a problem drying. Now we're going to go outside and I'm going to lay some paint on this car, which I've already put the primer down. So we're just going to start with the color coat and then we'll finish it here in a little bit. Okay, I've already got my primer down, which I decided to use a dark gray primer for this. The Rust-Oleum 2X. Because I'm painting this car silver. My paint has spent an hour in the dehydrator to warm up, which helps thin it down and it helps it spray better and it shook up and ready to go now you're just wanting to cover it you're not wanting it to shine you ain't worried about none of that that's going to come with the clear coat just want to get it all one color Which actually this is coming out a lot brighter silver than I thought it would. But that's what I wanted anyway. So make sure it's all coated, covered. Okay, the silver's down. Now let that dry and put the clear in the dehydrator for an hour and we'll clear coat it. Alright folks, it's time to put some clear down. So I've already shook it up real good with my paint shaker, which we'll make a video on that here in a couple weeks. And you just lay your clear down. Get a nice couple even coats on it. And wow, look at that metallic. But this ain't a show model. This is just a model I'm doing for the club. For one of their things. As long as it's shiny, I'm happy. And that's it. I'm going to put a couple more coats of clear on it, but we don't need to go through that in the video. And then we'll, tomorrow we'll do the finished video and we'll be done. Okay, folks, here we are. It's 24 hours later. The paint on this is dry and shiny enough to do for me. No runs, no wrinkles, no bad outcome. It does need a little polish, but that's normal with paint jobs unless you use 2K clear. And there's 
a couple other cars here that I've done. This green truck was done with rust all in. This silver car and this black car were all done with rust oleum. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll make a new video here soon.